Is it? It's it. But what is it? The song is Dollar Days off of Bowie's Black Star album. An album I had a hard time really digging into. And now that I have, this might be my favorite one on the album. Maybe. It kind of, it's, uh, there's only seven songs on it, but it kind of shuffles. And this one I, th I think is just great. Love that, uh, Insanity trumpet? Uh, uh, <laughs> that's a sax, but insanity sax. Oh man, just as I raise the volume, the insanity sax goes away. My friends and I were listening to it, and we couldn't help but note that the saxophonist, is that, is that what they're called? Was just going fucking ape shit on the sax. And it's just great. It's really good. Anyway. I want to, I want, I want to tell you that we've got some garbage tonight. We're going to start with, um, something really interesting. Something that was unexpected, um, yet very, very cool. Saints Row, was it, was it, um, hang on. Saints Row Undercover was a PSP game. There you go. And I think it's what, what company? Volition released an unfinished game for people to download and play. And yeah, he, he found it. He was just like, I'm going to just release it. And that's pretty much it. I don't know why it was canceled, um, but I did get a chance to check out the first like 30 seconds of the game just to make sure it worked. And I have to say... This is almost on par with some of the shitty, like, Unity games I've streamed that try to make, like, a GTA-style game. Except this one was a legit attempt by a big developer that just never came out. And it wasn't... it wasn't finished. So, it makes sense that it didn't come out. 
in its unfinished form until now, which is kind of crazy. So thank you, Volition, for this beautiful, beautiful look into the world of unfinished video games. And once I find it, I'll be sure to show you. But, you know, finding it is not a guarantee, is it? <laughs>